Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and welcome to part one of a five-part video series I'm calling Concept Videos. So this is the very first, my very first concept video. And what is a concept video? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's a video about a concept. Imagine that. So it's a video more about an idea. You could call it a lesson video if you like, but it's more about communicating um, an idea, a trick, uh, a theory, a thought, some, some, something that you can implement into your playing style. So actually in this concept video, I'm, gonna, I'm going to actually do cover two different things. The very first one is stealing or borrowing. So again, this is a concept. And so the, um, this is what I mean. I'm, I mean, I'm going to borrow some ideas from Sting's song back in the, um, I don't know if it was the 70s or the 80s, it was called Invisible Sun. And I know it's in the key of G, but I'm going to do it for the key of E. So I'm tuned E, B, E. So I'm just going to play it through one more time, kind of um, not exactly the way he does it. He's got a nice clean sound. And I'll just drench it in reverb. Ah, too much. Now the sound might 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 not be right, but it goes like. And then there's like a melody that goes. It kind of goes over that part. And then there's lyrics that go on. I don't want to spend the rest of my time. Whatever. Looking like something. So he does this a couple times. This is the uh, eighth fret, and I'm going down to the fifth fret. And then there's this cool walk down. Now, here's the, here's the part here. Check this out. This is like a blues thing. So it's like a little, little bass line. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's like, it's like right here in the blues scale. And it's a major dominant. That's the melody of the vocals. There has to be an So anyhow, so I'm not about teaching you this, um, but this is like the skeleton or the or the um, the template of the song, right? So anyhow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal that idea. This is what I mean. I'm going to make it sound like. Different. Okay, so I, I just dial, I'm just messing with stuff. something a little more dreamier. Do an inversion instead of going on the top. I'm going to go on the bottom.
deal with pride. Just don't get caught. So anyhow, the other thing I wanted to teach you is the second concept is more of a driving rhythm. Okay, so on this case here, I'm going to get some distortion. So close your ears. Dial it back a little bit. No reverb. Um, this is just dry distortion. Okay, so um, this is gonna be focusing on one string, the top string, the top string, okay. So this is more of like an alternative picking with accents. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna subdivide this into three groups of places where I'm gonna play the lick. First of all, let me, let me play you the first part of the lick. So it's kind, of a, it's kind of a cool, tricky little thing here. The notes are here is at the octave, which is the 12th fret, double dot. Two, two kicks. So I'm kind of pulling off. And then I go down to the 10th fret. And then the 9th fret. Then I go up back to the 10th fret. Then 9th. Then 8th. But, the, but the, the last three are just, I use each finger. So it's a cool little... Uh, one, two, three of, of each finger. So I divide it, I divide that into two groups of three. So here's the first group of three. And here's the second group of three. And I put that together. It's more about getting into this loop uh, and then it, being relentless in your picking picking pattern here. And the reason why is because we're going to take this exact little pattern and we're going to start moving it around. Case in the very first example of moving it around is I'm going to start here at the 10th, 10, 9, 7, or six, uh, blah, 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 10, 9, 8. And then I'm gonna do the second three on seven, five, four. This is, or seven, six, I can't count backwards. Um, seven, six, five. So it just, this is just chromatic. So I'm doing this note, this note, this note, this note, this note. Okay, so it's. So I'm just. It's, easy, right? And then the, the last one is down here at the seven, six, five, and then you're going to go three, five, open. So that's the concept, that's the idea, that's the theory. So you have three different places where you can play the same rhythmic pattern, but get a different sound. Now, we can start stopping and starting, starting in different places, putting mash, totally mashing these things up, and then doing like stops and starts and kicks and stuff like that. So for example, oh, oh yeah, and then like, Resolving it if you want to. I mean, because this is kind of an unresolved thing. It's just in one string. So there's lots of things you can do. And my point is, and so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna improvise and kind of noodle around and make some mistakes and and try to play with it and figure things some out. But that's the concept. That's the idea. So I'm gonna go with that concept and see what happens here.
right, I had to cut that part short because I was going on and on and on and on and on and on. So anyhow, so I cut the I cut it out to, to um, keep this video short. But I did want to say that whatever you do on the top string, remember you can do on the high string. So here's an example of that. <laughs> So that's it for this very first in a five-part series of concept videos. All right, Del Puckett signing out. See you in the next concept video.